everything else added to that or anything is politics and I don't like to get involved with politics when it comes to my walk so that's where I stand spiritually if you have any other questions about that feel free to ask uh, if not cool alright question number nine who outside of YouTube inspires you to be who you are outside of YouTube well honestly I always found myself to be one of a kind I always thought and other people have already said this to me as well, that there's nobody else like me. And the world couldn't take another one like me. But uh, if my antics or anything that I portray here on YouTube, if I mimic them from anybody, it would probably be... Uh, I know I never, I've never seen him or anything, but a lot, I, a lot of my antics and a lot of the way I, I act in real life and sometimes on YouTube, I kind of get from Dame Cook. I kind of, when, when I watched him on stage, I kind of absorbed some of his quirks and body movements and I injured, I do that a little bit as I talk and walk and whatnot. And a little bit from Johnny Depp as well, per se, and the uh, John, uh, Captain Sparrow um, character. I sometimes catch myself uh, talking a little bit like Captain Sparrow, uh, walking a little bit like him, touching people like he would touch them in the show. It just, I, I just absorbed it when I saw it, and people like, things like that inspire me. Now, that's just people wise. Now, a lot of things art wise inspire me as well. On DeviantArt, I have a bunch of people I follow who I take nitpicks of their style and try to mold it into my own and add to mine and take some away and continuously make myself a better artist because of it. So, inspiration comes from everywhere. So you just can't be focused on one thing or two things or none. You have to be focused to the whole spectrum around you. Uh, question number 10. What exactly do you do at work? Everything. I, uh, work at a, uh, I work at my church and uh, Solely, I work in the media department, which entitles me to work on stuff like their weekly video announcements. Uh, I help work on their website, uh, get their get the sermon from the pastor posted on their I, iTunes online. All the techie stuff is what I'm involved in during the week. On the weekends, I uh, I am pastor of the children in one area and a praise and worship leader in another. So I, I, I have a, a wide spectrum of things I do around there. But I, I enjoy working with the kids the most because uh, growing up I didn't really have that person that I could look up to other than my dad. But he was busy a lot so I really didn't have that one person that I could look up to and idolize and be just like him. Cause don't get me wrong, I love my dad, and growing up I wanted to be just like him. Strong, quick, athletic. Like, I wanted to be his his clone, which I still pretty much am in a lot of respects. But, you know, there's just that one person that you see and you're just like, wow. Only I could just one day be like him. And I try to I try to be that kind of role model for the kids. Because, like I said, I didn't have that kind of person growing up. And if I could change the life of one kid, everything I do is worth it. So, that's, that's why I enjoy working with the kids over there as well. That's what I do over there at work. Since y'all been there so many times, y'all can tell that y'all are probably curious to begin with. Uh, rule number... I keep saying rule for some reason. Question number 11. How did you meet Get to Know Panda? This part right here is probably the longest part of the Q&A because it's a pretty long story. We actually met in a in kindergarten. We were in the same kindergarten class, believe it or not. Uh, and I remember I used to chase her around the uh, the kindergarten playground and tried to kiss her, even way back then. Got in trouble for it, of course, but that's how it was. Uh, I was the dorky, chunky, jumpsuit wearing, coke bottle frame sporting, mushroom headed guy, kid in the class, and she was this little Barbie doll girl with long hair and little dresses that she wore every day to school, back before you had to wear uniforms and all that garbage. Uh, 
and we were in the same class together for kindergarten. And then I played baseball with her twin brother, John. Uh, yes, yeah, she has a twin. They got uh, they were her paternal twins. And uh, I played baseball with them, and uh, I was with them for a few years. And then we separated because I went to one private school, which she went to another one. And then, long story short, in ninth grade, uh, she went to the high school that her private school offered, and I went from my other school to that high school, which was Lafayette Christian Academy, the high school I graduated from. And we met up again uh, freshman year. And for homecoming, I asked her to go to homecoming with me, and she said no. Which was no big deal. Freshman year, you're just getting out of the cootie phase and getting into a males and females that year talk to each other. So I didn't take it too seriously. Uh, even though that year we ended up going at each other's throats, we were kind of mean to each other for the rest of the year. I don't know why. I don't remember the reasoning. And then sophomore year, I don't think I asked her to homecoming, but I think I did. I, I know it's been a while. I don't remember. But either way, I didn't go with her sophomore year either. And down the road, I ended up hanging out and dating her best friend. Uh, I mean, that went on for five months. Overall, my entire life span up until now, I'm 23, I've only had four and a half girlfriends. And only one of them I've ever been truly 100% intimate with. And that was with Panda, because uh, she and I were each other's first when we got married. She and I both were virgins when we got married and all that good stuff. And that just goes to prove you that anybody can do it. Anybody can stay abstinent until they're married. I don't care what Hollywood tells you. It's, it, it's easy. It, 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 it's just, it take, it's four rules. The four rules of doing it is keep your pants on. And that's all you gotta do. But uh, I didn't mean to get off on that track. Uh, I've only had four and a half girlfriends. I'll, I'll explain the half later on in the story. Uh, the first girl, uh, she, it was Puppy Love. Uh, she was in my neighborhood. Her name was Sheldon. She and I dated for... Well, she, we, we never actually officially dated. But we kissed before and hugged and touched. No, no. Okay, that came out wrong. We didn't touch like that. We just... It was Puppy Love. Like, I was 13, she was 12. It was just Puppy Love. And then I dated this girl named Molly for a few months. She was my first official girlfriend. Because uh, we actually said we're dating. And after that was my 8th grade year, and after 8th grade year we just fell apart. Because of distance, because she went somewhere for the summer and then she broke up with me and that was that. And then of course my ex I dated in high school. Sophomore year. That lasted five months. Uh, and then I had a fling. Or I'll, I'll get, yeah, I'll go ahead. I had a fling with a girl my junior year. I liked her. She, we started to get to know each other. But she went insane on me at the Sadie Hawkins dance. For our Aussie Day. Our Sadie Hawkins thingy. And that was that. And I say half because, again, we never officially dated, despite the fact that we just say these together. But we were still together, I guess. And then, last but not least, Panda, which I'll get into when that started in a minute. After breaking up with uh, my ex, Panda and I started talking as friends again via t internet, uh, AIM. And we played this game called uh, Ink Link. That was a fun, it was a fun little shockwave game that we got to play almost every night. It was a fun time. And then junior year, uh, sophomore year, summer was the year my grandpa died. That's why she and I got close again because uh, she was the closest. She, I latched onto her basically playing that little game to fill that void with my papa gone. And then come junior year, I asked her to go to homecoming again. And then before she could answer, my ex got involved and gave me a note saying that Joyce says no. Well, Panna says no. Uh, 